Hello, it's Marco Matosha here from Markham3D.com, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Archie Mesh add on. This is a fantastic add on, and I'll be definitely using this a lot more coming up. So, first, we need to enable it. So, we go up to Edit Preferences, and we can just type in Arch, and there it is. Let's turn on the Archie Mesh. Save Preferences, so we keep it there for later. And if we press N, over here on the left hand side, we've got this new section. So what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to select the default cube and press delete. There we go. And now let's just start off with an element and let's create a room. So we start off by this one meter wide wall. So we might just need to expand the end panel here, here, and we can now see the height, uh, thickness of the wall. So at the moment it's zero, but I'm going to bump that up a little bit. And then from here, we can change the length of the wall. So let's make a three meter wall and we want it to come around the corner. So we need to increase the number of walls. So let's increase that by one. And at the moment it's going the wrong way, but that's fine because I can go minus five and enter. And then we've got it on the outside, which it shouldn't be, but oh well. So let's increase the thickness of our skirting board. So or baseboard, whatever you want to call it, uh, width. Let's just pop that out a little bit. So there we have it. So now the wall is on the inside of the X axis, which is really neat for, uh, you know, if we need to put another wall on the other side, that means it'll fit on the other side, which is really good. And it's really clever, uh, very well designed. So I'm just going to add in another wall and we can see it's popped out that way, which is not what we want. So I'm going to go minus three. And from here, I'm just going to close the walls and there we go. We've got our room in there. Let's put a ceiling and let's put a floor. So we've got our room, but we can't get into it. Well, that's kind of unfortunate, isn't it? Let's throw in a door. So now we've got this wonderful door and I'm just going to place this door in the on the room somewhere walls. Let's go rotate Z 90 G Y to move it along the G axis, the Y axis, not the G axis. And now from here, there's still a, um, there's still a wall there. So what we need to do is we need to come down a bit, select the room first, come down a bit and auto hole. And now if I were to select this door, rotate on the Z axis, there's a hole. The only problem is, is this skirting board still there. So I don't know if that's an issue with the, um, 2.8, the, the, the add-on hasn't been updated yet. Um, but what we can do here is just control R just to put in an edge loop, a uh, loop cut, sorry. And I'll put another one in here and just come up here, right click, delete face. So you might want to be doing that once you've got everything sorted. Um, we can also, why not? Let's select the room again, come down. Let's put in a rail window, rail window, panel window. Let's go panel window. That's a rather big window. G Y. Let's go G X. Let's move that on the X axis and we'll put in, select the room again and let's go auto hole. Beautiful. And we can even, we might even be able to, can you do it in this one? G Y G X. Nah, not in this one. So what I was trying to do is open up the window, but I know if we go into the rail windows, let's go rotate Z 90. You want to be a jerk. Let's actually select the normal rotate Z 90 G Y G Z. And what we'll do is let's just move it over a little bit. G X. Yeah, about there. Okay. Whoops. Solid. Come on. I'm going to select the room again. Auto hole. There we go. And now if we select just this window, G Y. So this is a, this is an amazing add on. Like just to be able to create rooms so quickly, precisely as well, as you can see, um, highly recommended. So this is Archie mesh. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe the video and it helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. So thank you very much.